Another school shooting, more lives, more tears, and for some, more action. Today in San Antonio, people came to get educated on how they should react if a shooter takes aim at them. KSAT 12's Max Massey reports. Hello, everyone. It'd be nice to have a plan. It'd be nice to have uh, some type of um, training. This is Mark Deanda, just one of the people who filled the Krav Maga gym today. You are responsible for your own life. More than 150 men, women, and children signed up. These attacks are happening at our schools. These are our kids, but we want to give them the best education. I think this is great education for kids. It's, it's an education about surviving. This seminar isn't just about disarming a shooter. It's also what to do in medical situations. If you had a bleeding on the arm, if it's wet, red a lot, you get that tourniquet as high as you can on the extremity. Not everyone has a high-grade device like this one. Get on the Velcro and you just merely turn this wind letter stick until the bleeding stops. But in an emergency, you probably have access to a tourniquet and don't even know about it. We cut these seat belts. We can apply a very fast, very efficient tourniquet, once again, high in the arm. And once again, you just find something strong, that is sturdy, that you can uh, create some pressure and tension with, a little overhand knot. And if you don't have anything at all, Here, pressure can save lives. If you can't get a tourniquet on, you can't fashion a tourniquet, maybe it's a wound in your pelvis or up in your shoulders, your socks, you can pack socks in there, you can use t-shirts. Fill the hole, put as much pressure inside that hole, and stop the bleeding. The people at today's class hope they never have to use the skills they learned, but believe they're now a little more ready, just in case. Max Massey, KSAT 12 News.